have size eyes on the sky. After a windy and cool day today, how low will the temperatures go? Find out in the Iowa forecast. Plus, Jarrett Lansford is in the studio for your national forecast. All that and much more. Size Eyes on the Sky starts right now. It's Wednesday night on ISU TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Sky. ISU TV's longest running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm now joined by uh, Devin Johns, freshman in meteorology. How, how you doing, Devin? I'm doing all right. Good. So uh, quite an event yesterday in Iowa going on. Seven tornadoes, I heard. Several reports. Dang, that, that, was, that was a lot of weather, but hopefully the weather should be, should be dying down. Coming up in the clou clouds and radar, the storm system that was here yesterday is, is now gone, leaving be behind a lot of clear skies over Iowa. Coming up in your day planner, it will be 32 degrees tomorrow morning with a high of about 44 and, and by 4 p.m. 43. How low, how low will these temperatures go? We'll find out in a little bit. And now it's time for tonight's weather story. Today in weather history on November 12, 1933, after a very hot and dry summer, several weeks in October and November with little to no rain, a strong low pressure system rolled through the area producing very high winds throughout the region. The dust driven by the winds even penetrated buildings, automobiles, and, and enclosures, and even penetrated steel vaults. This was the first severe dust storm strike in Iowa during the Dust Bowl years. And now we're joined by Jarrett with a look at what's happening around the nation. Jarrett? Well, we had a pretty d busy day yesterday across the country. Things have calmed down quite a bit. I'll let you know if you need to worry about more severe weather for the weekend after the break. Here's Jarrett with your national forecast. Thanks, Sam. You can see we've got some cooler air across much of the northern portion of the country while the warm air is still kind of confined over to Florida and Arizona right now. First, we're going to go where that front that was bringing so much active weather to the country has moved over to the northeast, and they're bringing some light showers over to Maine. It's 45 in Augusta. Otherwise, cloudy across the region with temps in the lower 50s. Down to the southeast, it's pretty cloudy across this area as well, 63 in Raleigh. 59 in Atlanta, nicer conditions over in Florida, as always, 74 in Orlando and still in the 80s in Miami, pretty nice there. Southwest, we've got some warmer temperatures to the south, 71 in Phoenix, but up to the north, 43 in Salt Lake City, clear skies, they're going to drop even further, going to be a chilly night there for them. In the northwest, we're sitting at 47 with some light showers in Seattle, Salem at 49 and 44 cool degrees in Boise, Idaho. In the Midwest, it's pretty cool as well. Only 39 in Pierre, 36 in North Platte, and 38 in Minneapolis. It's going to be a cold night across much of the upper portion of the country. Highs across the country were a lot cooler today than they have been the last few days. After that front came through, we hit temperatures only reached 56 in Chicago, 45 in Minneapolis, 48 in Denver, but a little bit warmer in Phoenix at 77 degrees. Clear across much of the central portions of the country. Some clouds and rain over in the northwest, but most of the weather has been confined over to the northeast where they're seeing that system roll through. Over in Colorado, they're having some scattered s snow showers, but they're not really seeing too much right now. They've calmed down as well after that system went through. So we've got some wind advisories across the Great Lakes, and uh, we even have some high wind warnings over here by uh, Lake Erie in Ontario. We'll look at that closer here in a minute. But over in Tennessee, we've got freeze watches and there's also some frost advisories across Oklahoma as well. So it, that portion of the country hasn't really cooled off too much yet. So they're seeing their first real cold weather of the year. Here you can see there's that high wind warning we talked about for a Buffalo area and right along the Great Lakes there. It's really picking up steam there as the front pushes past. Kind of what was experienced in the central portion of the country yesterday. 
Looking at Futurecast, we've got that low tracking off into Canada, and it's going to move off into the Atlantic Ocean. And things are really going to settle down for the weekend. It's going to be very nice for much of the country. It's going to be a little cool across the central portions of the country, but they'll warm up a little bit as we approach Saturday and Sunday. Some rain showers staying steady in Seattle, but otherwise you can see very nice clear skies across much of the country, some clouds in Texas, but still pretty nice for them. Highs tomorrow are going to be in 63 in Dallas, 56 in Atlanta, 82 in Miami, 60 in Billings and in Denver. Our pick city, we're going to go a little bit north and see where the winter weather is right now, and it is in Barrow, Alaska, way up north. Look at these temperatures. Ooh, you just want to shiver when you even see that. Temperatures only reaching the single digits, dropping into the negative single digits. They've got a chance for snow on Monday. Those are very cold temperatures. Thanks, Jarrett. Let's take a look at uh, tonight's trivia question. Statistically, what are the chances of being killed or injured by lightning? Is it A, 1 in 100,000, B, 1 in 200,000, C, 1 in 1 million, or D, 1 in 240,000? Here's Devin Johns with your Iowa forecast. After the windy day today, how will the winds fare for the rest of the week? Find, find out in the Iowa forecast. <coughs> After the chaotic day yesterday when it comes to tornadoes, it's starting to die down a little bit, but still, it's still breezy with abundant sunshine and showers are coming up in, in, on Monday. So currently right now, it's 44 degrees in Ames with winds coming out of the west at 16 miles per hour with a dew point of 28. Currently around the state, it's currently 38 in Sioux City, 41 in Fort Dodge, a warmer in the southwest, at southeast at Ottumwa at 46. Winds, it's cur currently pretty breezy in the northern part of the state with, with 17 miles per hour in Mason City, 16 here in Ames with the 7 mile per hour wind, wind in Council Bluffs. Starting to calm down a little bit in the west. Clouds and radar, the system that was here yesterday has moved off to, to the northeast, leaving clear skies, which will lead to a really cold night tonight. And around, around the nation, clear skies all the way up around the, the, the Midwest and the Great Plains. The storm system that was here yesterday has moved off to the, to the northeast into, into Canada. Future cast. The cl clouds are going to move to the northeast, leaving, but leaving clear skies into your Friday and eventually into your game day. Some clouds will, will try to move in here Friday night, but, s but move off to the northeast. Little, little mild chance for possible snow precip but not, not too great. And leading into Saturday, clear skies. Lewis tonight's gonna to get pretty cool, especially in the northwestern part, 25 degrees in Sioux City, 30 in Fort Dodge, 33 in Des Moines. It's gonna be a pretty cold night. However, though, tomorrow the highs will warm up quite nicely with 54 in, in Council Bluffs, 49 in Des Moines, and 46 in Marshalltown. Your forecast for tonight, getting down to a pretty cool 30 degrees with winds still being a little bit breezy at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Tomorrow, the winds will die down a little bit but still be bree breezy with the wind gets up to, 40 si up to 25 miles per hour with the, w with the high being 47 tomorrow. Game day on Saturday, the last home game for the Cyclones against o Oklahoma State University at 2 p.m., 58 degrees. Clear, sunny, a little bit windy. Going into your extended forecast, there will be 40s to tomorrow and Saturday, warming up into the 50s before cooling down by the end of the week. Next. Thanks a lot, Devin. Let's take another look at tonight's trivia question. Statistically, what are the chances of being killed or injured by lightning? What do you guys think? Well, I'm thinking C because I am completely confident. You are? All right. Let's uh, take a look at that. Oh, all right, ah. D. Man, close, though. Well, 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 one. one letter right. off, I guess, so that's not too <laughs> pretty, bad, I suppose. Pretty low yeah. chances. I mean, you're still more likely to get struck by lightning than you are to win a lottery. Uh, Fair enough. I Fair should enough. probably stop playing, then. <laughs> probably should. So nationwide, it much needed a uh, break from that system going through the central portion of the country, right? Definitely. We're going to calm down a lot for the weekend, and it's going to set the stage for a beautiful game day, correct? Yep. Ho hopefully the Cyclones will, will manage one final win at home, and the the... The temperatures look pretty nice, so hopefully it'll be a great game day. Yeah, looking pretty good. Perfect, yeah. All right, well, that concludes our show for tonight. Please be sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. You can find every show online at YouTube under the tab Size Eyes Channel. Thank you for joining us. We will see you right back here again on Tuesday.